I am not very optimistic over the chances in the forthcoming future to restore the border over Ukraine and Russian, uh, to restore control over Ukraine and Russian border. And without control of the border, you don't control the whole country, clearly, and this in is, the long term. And this is the truth. And that's the reason why we ask our European partners and we commend the efforts of Chancellor Merkel and President Hollande in Minsk to push Russia to the right decision. So we ask them to support us in sealing the border. Otherwise, look, this is an unlimited uh, access for the Russian military, for Russian tanks, for Russian soldiers just easily to cross Ukraine and Russian border and then to increase their military capabilities and their military durability of Russian forces that are deployed in the east of Ukraine. So chances to de-escalate the situation in this case are extremely low. British military trainers are now on the ground in Ukraine, 35 of them training Ukrainian forces in what we're told is, is battlefield first aid, defensive military tactics. Is it enough? How much more do you need? I want to be very clear that we are not just defending Ukraine. We defend the EU. We defend peace and stability in the entire Europe. We truly appreciate uh, the UK um, support in sending trainers for the Ukrainian military, which is aimed at uh, increasing durability of Ukrainian military. So again, we are fighting with the Russian regular forces. So we are defending ourselves. So please help us to defend our country and to defend your peace. But do you think that plea will be answered? Do you think this initial British deployment is going to be the first of many and there will be other trainers, whether from Britain or other countries? Well, this is the first step. And we expect to see another steps of another EU member states and uh, our American friends.